Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. So for today's video, I just wanted to share with you guys a few updates on my clothing line just because some things have happened. Now this will just probably be a shorter little video, but I do want to film, I think either a makeup routine or trying new products, like a spring makeup look. So let me know which of those you'd prefer to see. I also want to do um, my favorite hairstyles video as well for you guys. Um, but yeah, any videos, video ideas you have, let me know. I do have a couple on the list of like behind the scenes filming, stuff like that, which I will film for you guys as well. I haven't been much talk on the clothing line and honestly, I do have some disappointing news. So I have had constant setbacks with my manufacturer and actually recently I had to talk with the head of my um, like that director team, like the manufacturing team, all of that production team. And I had a talk with him just to really talk about how I'm disappointed in the performance of the, um, production line, like how long it's taking all the setbacks, the issues that we've had with the fabrics, X, Y, Z. So hopefully things will get better from here on out. But I was originally, as you guys know, I was supposed to launch in March and then I was supposed to do, have my photo shoot pieces so that I could, um, do photo shoots for my website and everything and get that all ready for May to launch end of May and now I'm not going to be launching until literally like end of July. Um, I'm extremely frustrated as you guys can obviously imagine because this has been a year and a half in the making and it's just been taking so long and it's just been setback after setback after setback and it's not only frustrating for me but it's frustrating for you guys as well who have been waiting on this and it just it's it's so exhausting because there's literally nothing I can do but wait especially when I've invested so much money into this and I can't just like pull out you know like I can't the money's into this now like I've paid them a lot of money so like we have to follow through at least for now um so with that said we talked about some issues that they were having and why we were having so many setbacks so one was the COVID backlog that their factory was facing um they were also having issues sourcing certain fabrics because things have been out of stock again because of COVID so there's just been some issues like that but there have also been issues just um, ordering incorrect fabrics and things like that which have been really frustrating to me so I'm giving them like I already have started with my second collection samples with them and I've paid them for those so currently with them um, I have this main collection with their which they're doing bulk production we're already done sampling like they're just making the thousand pieces of clothes that I ordered then they're sampling my second collection. Now, I'm not paying them for my production for my second collection, but I am having them do my samples because I already paid them for those. And they did say that they've hired more seamstresses, they've um, increased the resources, and also they've cleared the backlog that they had had from COVID. So hopefully things get a little bit faster and just there's less setbacks, like the timelines won't get pushed back literally months. So if everything goes well with sampling with my second collection, that'll be way better and a step in the right direction. With that said, I'm not going to put my eggs in one basket anymore. So I know that I told you guys before, um, there was a manufacturer in Bali that I really liked and they are a lot more expensive on literally every, every front from sampling to tech packs to production to shipping and importing like everything is more expensive with them with that said if they're able to produce high quality products um and they're able to do so in a professional manner without these constant setbacks that is a plus because obviously it's not ideal to release like eight pieces of clothing every year and a half that's not sustainable for business <laughs> that's not really happy for anyone and i don't think it's unattainable to want to release like a small collection every season um i don't think that's unrealistic so i have talked with my original manufacturer hopefully things have gotten better because I've communicated my frustrations and they understand the severity of the situation at this point. Um, with that said, like I um, explained, I'm not putting my eggs in one basket. So I have reached out to this other manufacturer in Bali um, and I'm going to send them some new designs, just five designs. And I'm going to get a quote for how much that would cost. And I'm going to have those sampled so that I can compare the quality of the samples, even though there'll be different products, I can compare the quality of those samples to the samples that I'll receive 
from my first manufacturer for the second collection. Again, it'll be different items, but um, I can compare the quality, I can compare the time, and it might be worth my money to switch over. So currently for the first collection, I will be hopefully launching in July. Like, I, <laughs> it's so frustrating, you guys, but I, there's really not much more I can say. It's just honestly a waiting game. I've done everything on my end at this point. I'm just waiting for them. So there's nothing more I can do other than the steps that I've done thus far and that I'm planning to do. What's been happening on the production front now, um, like I said, I thought I was gonna get my photo shoot pieces for May, but now I they're sending those out May 27th. So I will get those like first week of June. So second, third week of June, I have hired a media agency who has booked me a studio in Toronto and I'm going to be um, shooting the pieces for the first collection there. I'm really excited. I'm going to be doing it with two friends um, because obviously I don't have the money to invest in a whole scouting for models right now but i think it'll be a really fun experience to do it with me and my two friends i think it'll be really awesome for us i've picked out the pieces that they're going to model and we're going to make a day of it even a weekend of it like we might stay in toronto for the weekend so i'm really excited for that hopefully that all goes smoothly um and i think it was really important investing the money and like a really good photographer so that Obviously, the website and um, the pieces, the photos look really professional because that's what I want. The studio space is also beautiful. So I'm super excited for that. And then if everything goes well in the long run, I can obviously scout models. But I think for my first launch, my first collection, it's going to be really fun to do with friends. And I do want to model the pieces too. I think that that it's going to be so fun. Like it's going to be such an experience. So that's what's happening on that front. Um, in terms of my website, it's basically ready, um, except I just need to upload the content, the photos, the information, um, which I'm kind of waiting to do until I have the photos because that's obviously a key part of it. And then I've also um, been in contact with lawyers recently because I also need to have my terms of service um, and privacy poli policy, shipping policy, all of that drafted. Those are really important legal documents that I need. And I know that you can find like just basic templates for it, but I really want to make sure everything is legal and properly done. I don't want to leave that to me. Um, and it's not too, too much money to have those things drafted. So I'm working with my like accountant and he has um, a few contacts as well. And then I've been reaching out to people um, who can help me with that. So I'm just getting quotes for that now and it's not too much. And like I said, I think it's important to have those legal documents properly executed i don't necessarily trust myself with the legal the legal aspects of it so those are kind of the updates i have as of now what my dad said which is i think a really good point is that when starting your own business never say your launch date too early because i thought that giving myself a year for this project would be enough time because originally they were going to send off my bulk orders in December, which should have given me plenty of time to shoot the pieces and upload everything on my website by March. That should have given me plenty of time. But as the production got pushed back, everything got pushed back. I had to push back my my media agency. I had to pu push back my website people. I had to push back um, like lawyers. Like everything has just constantly been pushed back because of production. And Obviously now it's been pushed back on my Instagram because I was like, oh, we're launching in spring. We're not. So I would say tip of advice, if you're starting your own business, don't say your launch date because obviously things can happen. At the end of the day, it's really frustrating that things have taken as long as they have. It's disappointing for you guys and me as well. But this is like my dream, like I'm not going to give up and I'm still trying to stay really positive and I am trying to find solutions. Like at the end of the day, this is my first business. This is my first clothing line. Like this is a lot of firsts for me. So there's going to be mistakes along the way. There's going to be obstacles and it's important that we just stay positive and try and keep pushing through. Um, I've invested a lot of money. I've invested a lot of time into this. And like I said, this is my dream. This is my baby. So I'm going to keep with it and hopefully fingers crossed, like everything goes well and we can just have a really good summer launch. 
Um, and hopefully everything just goes well after that. Obviously, I'm sure more issues will come up as they do with any business, but I feel like we've we've had a long stretch of issues so hopefully the universe is gonna send some positive positivity some positive vibes i'm sorry if that was really convoluted but hopefully you guys understand a little bit more where i'm at and where the clothing line is at but yeah i love you all so much i really appreciate your patience and again i do apologize um that this has been taking so long but hopefully everything goes well. Again, if you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments. I do have a list that I've been working up, but I, like I said, I do want to film like a hairstyles video. I want to film an outfits video at one point, And I also want to film like a makeup video um, because I've been getting so many compliments on like my glowy makeup look. So I feel like you guys would like that. But yeah, I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.